Here's your 41 Action News update. I'm Krista Dubill. Here are your 41 Action News headlines. A Missouri man is the eighth man nationwide to die from an illness associated with vaping. It's the first vaping related death in the state of Missouri. The Missouri man in his mid 40s died this week at Mercy Hospital in St. Louis. There has been one vaping related death in the state of Kansas. As the GM strike drives into its fourth full day, there was a new face on the picket line Thursday. Kansas Governor Laura Kelly talked with workers outside the Fairfax facility in KCK. She says the UAW members are hardworking Kansans who are striking to ensure they are taken care of with salaries and benefits. What we need to do is to get the, the union and GM back at the table and negotiate a settlement that works for everybody. Governor Kelly says it's very important for the state economy that large industries keep functioning and contributing. She added a solution needs to be found soon. Scary moments aboard a Delta flight and an Overland Park man was there to experience it. He was flying from Atlanta to Fort Lauderdale when he said the plane started a rapid descent. The oxygen mask fell from the ceiling. Delta says the plane experienced a quote cabin pressurization irregularity. The man Harris Dewaskin recalls the chaotic scene. One of the flight attendants, I believe, grabbed the intercom and was just repeatedly over the intercom stating, do not panic, do not panic. But I mean, obviously, it's a it's a hectic moment. So uh, the passengers around me, a lot of people were kind of hyperventilating, breathing really hard. The flight made an emergency landing in Tampa. Delta says no one was hurt. Here's Gerard J. Bailey with your forecast. Thank you, Krista. Tomorrow we'll start seeing our uh, changes arriving in the form of some cooler temperatures, but also rainfall becoming likely in the forecast. Friday looks to start out dry, and then as we move through the afternoon and evening, a few showers and storms will be developing. Saturday still going to see rainfall likely here, and we could be talking about heavy rainfall totals with uh, several rounds of showers and storms throughout the afternoon and evening. Best chance of rain is going to occur Saturday night through Sunday morning here. We're hoping this could clear out in time for the Chiefs game, but if you're tailgating, definitely have the rain gear. If you're going out to air ahead, you may also need the rain gear as we're expecting it to slowly improve as the game goes on, but not a guarantee to stay dry at all. A few storms could be on the strongest severe side late Saturday night, but one to three inches of rainfall will be possible from now through uh, Sunday night. Remember to get all your latest news and weather updates anytime on KSHB.com. Cutting the cable cord? 41 Action News is now on Roku. Search KSHB, add our channel, and you're set. All of our newscasts stream live. No other station in Kansas City can say that. Get clear, complete coverage on 41 Action News now on Roku.